Okay, so what are we back with? With the back-to-back -back Godzilla movies, right? Oh yeah, that's like a qu not a quadrilogy, <laughs> but like a, or a trilogy at all. We just watched like three Godzilla movies. Yes, well, I you, watched you, four, you but yes. but three different Godzilla movies. Unless you count like uh, what we're showing off as um, two movies, because uh, we're watching. What, how did we get into this whole thing with Godzilla, or Gojira in this case? So the Shin Go Godzilla movie came out recently in North America. Right! And you were interested, so he went to go see it. Well, I wanted us to see it, but uh, like time constraints like uh, prevented it didn't work from out. seeing it. But uh, I always had this original version of the, the Japanese uh, Gojira, and none of us had seen it before, so yes, we, we wanted to watch the, where the origins of the film came from. Yes, and uh, I must, cause uh, cause when I was watching Shin Godzilla, which I'll I'll get into in a little bit, but not too much for those who didn't watch it, cause it was a limited showing in America. Yes, which kind of sucks. <laughs> but um, I saw it and I was like, this feels like what I was told about the original Godzilla movie, with how it's not about Godzilla, but it revolves around him and and like the whole thing with nuclear war. Cause that's kind of what Shin Godzilla felt like, and literally Shin Godzilla means new Godzilla. So I think that's kind of like a take on it. As, uh, unlike the American title of it, Godzilla Res Resurgence. Like, <laughs> fuck is that? And then uh, Gojira, the American title was Godzilla King of Monsters, which kind of it's different. It kind of lessened the. It kind of changed like the way you view the thing because it yeah. sounds like a monster movie more than rather than a message, right? Like there's yeah, a, yeah. A so, what is the plot to Godzilla? Oh, actually. What is the plot to Godzilla? But obviously, we'll do the usual read behind the back. So, read your DVD. All right, a critically acclaimed classic and one of the greatest monster movies of all time. The ocean surface boils white hot, and a Japanese freighter mysteriously uh, mysteriously vanishes in the Pacific. Rescue boats meet the same fate, and the superstitious villagers of Otto Island fear an ancient legend has come true: the legend of Godzilla. Reawaken. Or Gojira, in this case. <laughs> yeah. Reawakened from eons long sleep by an H bomb test, the be uh, that's the thing I don't get, guys. H bomb test really it was a test. I don't know about that. The, the behemoth seeks revenge on a civilized world, turning Tokyo into a wasteland of atomic fire and rubble. Caught in the monstrous path of destruction are young lovers Amiko and Ogata, who must betray their friend Doctor Shirazawa, a brilliant but tormented scientist, in order to save the world. Classic Media presents the original and uncut Japanese language version of Shiro Honda's Gojira, oh, 1954. There we go. Critically acclaimed as a bold anti-nuclear allegory and one of the greatest monster movies of all time. Also included as Godzilla King of the Monsters 1956, the popular Americanized, yes, westernized <laughs> version starring Raymond Burr, who was a blur of an actor in this film, as a reporter covering Godzilla's rampage. And smokes a lot. He smokes a lot, yes. So, uh, right. so yeah, there you go. You were wondering, like, who was the creator? Because, like, in the manual, there's it's it says, like, four, four creators. Four people, yes. But uh, apparently, uh, what was it? Which part? Honda, right? Yeah, Ishiro Honda was sure. the, the, the director. Yes, and when you're talking about the H-bomb test, test isn't that... You know, I, when I think yeah. of bombing a country, I don't call that a test. <laughs> I don't think so, though. Not that I would do that. No. Nor have the capacity to do so. So it's interesting they call it a test, though. Um, you think that's a way to hide it? Like, oh, it was just a yeah. test. We didn't mean to... Yeah. But we'll, we'll not get into it that. It was not a test, no. No. But... But yeah, so that's uh that's the synopsis for uh, Godzilla is that he is the result of the nuclear testing Test. <laughs> of the hydrogen bomb back in World War Two. Yeah. So what did you think of the film? Uh, you have you seen it before, or like have you seen it before, or before we watched it? Or no, that was the first time. Yeah. Okay, so because uh, this is also my first time yeah. watching it too. So what did you think of it? Yeah, I thought it had a. It was trying to convey a message and a feeling of what had had happened in Japan and the aftermath of, of the nuclear bomb and all that. And uh, I mean, I think there was definitely more time in a Japanese version to convey that. Uh, I thought that the American version cut cut a lot of that out. No, we'll, we'll um, talk about the American way. <laughs> we'll talk about the original. But yeah, I think as a as the Japanese version, it was trying to yeah trying to po point out that message. It's also trying to like. I don't know if Godzilla is kind of like a allegory. Yeah, allegory of or a metaphor. Metaphor of the radioactive, the effects of what it could have. Yeah, that a bit like the effect. causes of like yeah. the nuclear radiation. Basically, bringing like a, a monster. A, well, a species back to life, right? Wasn't it? It's not, or mut mutating. Well, or they said I, mut I said mutating, but mutating. they said brought it back to life, which I call bullshit. Yeah, in the American version, that is. They they changed it so. 
We believe so. I, uh, <laughs> just to know, we saw we saw the Japanese original like three weeks ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, just, and watched... just now we saw the American one. So we're, I'm kind of a little fuzzy yeah. on it too. So um, how I th- how I saw the Japanese version, it was um, it's like a documentary if it was more involving. Because imagine if this yeah. was just a straight up documentary about the nuclear effects that has, uh, and the usage of them, it would have just been kind of boring. Yeah. This one kind of had. I don't want to say made it entertaining, but it made it like entertaining in a way that it's like, hey, the nuclear, it brought Godzilla, and that, and it's because of nuclear uh, usage and testing and so forth that has brought this monster up on you. And this movie, like I said, it's not about Godzilla. It revolves around Godzilla and the people's reaction to it mm. and uh, the, the effects it causes, because. Because when Godzilla goes through the city, it's as if it got hit by a H-bomb. Because he's going through it, he's burning everything, destroying everything, and it's just like... Uh, that's the destruction he causes throughout. And also with the character, uh, Dr. Serizawa, Sir- yeah. who's uh, who feels... He's he's learning from like uh, the other people that made the bomb. Like um, if other people got hands on like this creation he has, they would be like abused by the world and mm-hmm. would destroy it as well. So I, I saw this original movie not like as a monster entertaining movie. Oh, by the way, I I really did not see this as a, like a monster movie. No, I wouldn't call it one, even though technically it is. It's it's just more of a documentary that like talks about the effects of nuclear nuclear war mm, i can see that but it, it was inspired by king kong though right um, uh because the original they, they wanted to have a monster they, had, they wanted to have a monster and uh the director the director saw king kong was inspired by it and wanted to make his, yeah. his own like to use that style to stop motion for it but it would have been taken like seven years seven as years. they said in the thing and he only had a few months to make this movie yeah, so they introduced the uh, man in the, uh, suit. In the suit idea, and it worked well. A lot of movies got inspired by it, so... And it became TV really, shows. really big, and uh, <laughs> every and I love how every other movie after this, almost every other movie after this, is like, it's just an, it's just a monster flick now. It's like like the original message almost feels like lost, <laughs> kind of. Because they, they weren't even hinting at any sequels. It was just supposed to be like, yeah, like a warning, you know, don't, don't do these kind of things with... Uh, Weapons of mass destruction, right? But unfortunately, uh, they thought, "Oh, this is cool." Let's, uh... <laughs> which it is, which it is. But it's but... like, this, like the original Godzilla film is just completely different from all the other ones, yeah. like down the line, which we also watched. Yeah, because in this one, he's he's going back and maybe I wouldn't say is it getting revenge on like what what they've done to him or like it's his um, response to yeah. what has happened around him, to his environment. Yeah. So, whereas and, the other ones, they would have him fighting like another monster because yeah. it looks cool. Yeah, because it looks cool, <laughs> and it does. <laughs> Unless it was like one of the shittier Godzilla movies. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the guy they only had like a few months to make this, and like the scale they did this on, from the models to the amount of people to the suit and all that, it's kind of impressive. Like For I gotta time, say, yeah, nineteen yeah, fifties, uh, and uh, I mean. I thought that the effects were pretty good for for the time. So other than like some some moments where they zoomed in on Godzilla's eyes and it kind of looked like a like a cookie monster. The cookie monster. <laughs> There's a scene in yeah. like when Godzilla's terrorizing the city. He looks at the screen kind of like, <laughs> yeah, with those big eyes. And it, <laughs> we're, I know this just took us out of the movie. Yeah. Just a brief moment. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, the special effects were like really good. Yeah, good. Like uh, the illusion of it all being like real yeah. in its universe. Like um. It, it was believable. You mentioned the black and white actually helped it because then we couldn't see everything clearly. At the yeah, end, and because I, I was asking, but, like, what if it was in color? Like, they yeah. recolored this. Would it have looked obvious or, like, uh, not? Because, like, yeah, like you just said of what I just said, <laughs> the black and white kind of, like, helped hide some things. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, what was it? There was a few part where it kind of did, um... It was kind of obvious, like, when Godzilla was on screen with the people, like, you see, it's obviously there's, like, a video being played, or, yeah, you know, a cl- screen. screen being played in the background. Um, but that's, like, small details. It's, the whole point is about the message, and not about uh, the things that, well, it is about the things that happen, but it's, like, it's not about the de- details outside of it. Yeah, because they even have that scene where, um, you know, they, they've, they've seen Godzilla for the first time, or Gojira, 
and they want to well some of them want to go out and make it public like in the news remember like there's that conflict part where like mm -hmm. some of the the female uh reporters reporters or villagers that want it to be known oh yeah they cut that out they from the, that american. Out the american version yeah so there's that you know dispute like do we you know share this with the rest of the world or, or keep, it keep it to themselves, themselves? But uh, if there's definitely a moral there, it, yeah, they shouldn't be kept to themselves because if there's a serious threat of some kind, yeah, the world deserves to know about it, right? But <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's what they also did in the in Shin Godzilla too, where they were like, should we get help, help. from outside or do we deal with ourselves? Once again, we'll talk about that. Yeah. I'll talk about that later. Yeah. But um. I will also say this movie is the Japanese one feels very very long not not necessarily boring but because like I said if you if you come into here expecting like an entertaining Godzilla movie it, that's not what this movie is about no nah. so for some or maybe most it might actually come off as kind of boring yeah because you don't actually see Godzilla too much compared to the other films but, and the um, action isn't like amazing yeah but like uh, like we said, it's that's not like the point of this movie, mm. even though it's it was pretty impressive, like special effects wise. Which uh, that's which I, I was reading in like your your little DVD manual, like uh, the Americanized version turned yeah. it in more into an action um, monster flick than yeah. uh, the original message about it, and I kind I really felt that the American one felt really empty. It's shorter by fifteen minutes, mm. but it's like. Actually, they did cut out that opening with the credits, which was really, really long, remember? Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, basically, the American or Western United ver version starts off with the, the main character, I guess, Steve Martin, who uh, shares the name of a famous comedian. I don't know if you know that's Steve no, Martin. No, no. But... Played by uh, Raymond, <laughs> Raymond Burr, Burr, which I said yeah, Burr. Yeah, it was a blur. He didn't do very, a very good convincing, uh, convincing job. Anyway, so it starts off with the aftermath. Like, you see him, like... In a pile of you know rubble from the and then he's like recapping the entire yeah, thing yeah. and the yeah. thing is what's the point of his character like he has no influence nah. on like the outcome of the thing he's just a bystander standing there without a wolf or without a cigarette just <laughs> smoking so it feels like kind of a waste it does i feel like they should have just outright just dubbed it yeah. so forth but no they had to because there's no subtitles it. in that version for some reason right oh yeah just, you remember, kinda, you kinda remember how it was like at some point the japanese people were speaking japanese which made sense yeah. no subtitles so we don't know what's going on mm -hmm. and he would be told what's up but then they start speaking like english, english at, 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 like suddenly and then like um because the character steve was there yeah. so it's like oh okay maybe they know some english but then it's like during like when they're alone it's like they're speaking english too it's like yeah that didn't make any sense either just dub it or not because it just it jumps back and forth and it's just like i'm just like oh my the, st the stupidity of it i, I would say because it's just like uh it's dumb and plus like the scenes were all like out of order yeah they were they basically just brought steve into this world and try to splice him in there but he just felt out of place for the most part even we were mentioning you were mentioning that scene where he's supposed to meet with uh dr sirizawa for like lunch or something and that never happened that never happened and they don't even talk about it again so like what happened there? I don't know. Oh, and like whenever he's trying, he's interacting with like yeah. Emiko or whatever. Like you the... just you see the back of their heads and yeah, not their yeah, face yeah. to clearly show because they couldn't though. actually get those people there. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was released two years after the, the Japanese version. So yeah, I, I, yeah. I know. I'm not. I'm not blaming them no. too much for it, but it's like it's very obvious. And there's some like weird, not editing, but transitions in mm. the American one where it was just like the either the audio cuts off. Or like something weird just happens. Yeah, there's not a good flow either uh, at times. Wow, well, <laughs> the transition are kind of weird. The flow yeah. is kind of like it's it's a lot faster, even though it's like just 15 minutes shorter. Yeah. Yeah, and then that scene when he was on the hill where he he was just there. I was like, what's the point? <laughs> why is he there? He's just like, okay, like the. I don't want to say I don't want to say or claim anything, but his acting in this movie was really just like bland. Yeah. He sees Godzilla, he's just like. Yeah, I think it would have been funnier if uh, the other Steve Martin, the comedian, played this in this role. I think he would have because he has more you know facial Expression. expressions and stuff. So, but this guy was oh my god, he was, he was, he was just like not impressed. No, it was not. A... At one point, he was sweating. I was like, his sweat is doing the acting for him in the scene. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that scene was also dumb too. He was like, he everyone ran away except yeah. him, and then he got caught under the rubble. It's like, oh, but that that's why. Yeah. 
and a bunch of stuff like got cut short too like a lot of detail Mm -hmm. that like that was just like that just added the build up to the whole thing and some dialogue changes like uh oh godzilla was revived from like long time ago thanks to radiation it was like what he mutated that's that's how it worked because i because i'm pretty sure like in the japanese one it was like um a certain species of lizard or whatever got mutated Mm -hmm. and that's how he came to be uh was there anything else you remember where it's like um the the american one just like messed with the original hmm i think well i think that was the main part but uh they definitely cut out some stuff no no doubt yeah like uh, oh, like well, Sarah's always sacrifice at the end. Yeah, they underplayed the. I guess the. Yeah, that was what I, what I would. There was say. like a love triangle. They didn't really focus on that in the American version. It yeah, was, it was just yeah. like it was just one line. It was like these two people are madly in love <laughs> and they're fighting. <laughs> Typical love triangle, and that was it. In the Japanese one, it was like played on. There, yeah. there was a little story between people because, like, I, like we said, it's about the people, and all the stuff that was happening. But at least in both films, I mean, Dr. Serizawa's sacrifice is still, you know, I wouldn't say it's as profound in the American version, but it's still, yeah, it's, it still has meaning. I mean, he he had a, a big invention in the oxygen destroyer that he did not want it to go into the wrong hands, and mm-hmm. that's still there. Um, but unfortunately, with the American version, I guess it just shows what happens when it goes into the wrong hands, right? I mean... Yeah, you, you were, were making, yeah, you making, were making that... that. Uh, you were making that comparison. I was like, "Oh, that's kind of funny." <laughs> that's a kind of a funny comparison of like being in the wrong hands. Yeah, the movie was in the wrong hands for sure. Uh, so, uh, I yeah. think if they just dubbed it or like maybe like had straight up dubbed the original, yeah, that would been fine. I don't, I don't think it was necessary to, to include a, an American actor, but because I was like, I read somewhere, I read somewhere in the manual, I call it the manual, but the, yeah. the book, it was like. Um, like they didn't want to talk about the nuclear thing, so they just made it like like just a monster, just a monster movie, and it just kind of it kind of felt like that with mm. the whole like radio broadcasting. Um, yeah, so they were trying to ignore it. Yeah, somewhat. Which I'm trying to remember, like which mo- which other like movie, like the Japanese movie that they uh, brought over, but like the message was was completely skewered when brought over here. Anything else uh, you can think of to say about uh, the original Godzilla or Gojira? Uh. There was that silly moment with like the jets missing everything when trying oh, yeah, to shoot true. the biggest <laughs> thing in the ocean. But they kept missing everything, missiles. Uh. Yeah, Gojira or Godzilla just Jack Nicholson did from the Batman <laughs> movie. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Uh... But I mean, I, you said they didn't want to burn the guy in the suit, so that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, the guy who who uh, who who was the suit actor yeah. lost like I think it was like I think it was eight pounds of like body liquid because the suit was so hot. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so it was like a very like this the, the film like very commendable to like everyone that was involved into it like yeah. like doing all that in a few months. I can't imagine doing that like myself and having to think up like. Um, how I would have filmed this. Mm-hmm. But yeah, would you recommend uh, Gojira? You know what? If you just want to see where, where this the franchise started, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, it's, it might not be on your top 10 list or anything like that, but at least it gives you an idea of perspective where it came from and the message it was trying to convey at the time. Uh, would you watch the American version? Or would you recommend watching the American version? <laughs> I would say no. To be honest, uh, I think it's better to stick with the original. Uncut. Uncut, yeah. I would also... Well, I I was a Godzilla fan, yeah. too. And this original movie, like... Uh, I'm going to say you should at least just watch it once. Yeah. At least just watch it. And then after that, never again. Because <laughs> would you watch it again? No, not really. <laughs> no, I, w- I wouldn't really either. Because it's... Uh, you get the message. Yeah, get... It, it's not a movie that's meant to be enjoyed in like a happy way that that's essentially what it is um i would i would at least watch it once especially if you're a godzilla fan like check out the only way i would like watch it again is if we turned on the commentary to like see what was up but aside from that i think even that's a little hard to sit through hard to sit through for me because it's just a lot of build-up and such as for the american one (laughs) i really can't i really can't recommend it just it feels empty and just like like I, like I said, what was the point of the character? He was just there. Mm-hmm. 
uh, we might as well edit ourselves like in there too. And it's like, uh, hey, what did this add? There's star power, and then there's like adding nothing. Yeah. But yeah, would suggest checking out the original uh, uncut Japanese version. The American one, just like, mm -hmm, forget it. Unless you're curious in what they did, which we were. Yeah. But after, but um, yeah. So let's move on to the next one. Yes. Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Dun, dun, dun. Now, movie that's just the movie. All right. A really good movie, and it's my favorite one in the entire series. This is why I'm a Godzilla fan. This is why I was tricked by the Super Nintendo game. And this is my favorite. This is like one of my favorite movies from the Heisei era of Godzilla, which is like the 90s, 2000, 2000. Yeah, this was, came out in what, 91, was it? 91. Yeah. The birth of legit awesome. And it was called <sighs> Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. King Ghidorah. So. This movie, you've never seen this mo movie before. Well, before that, uh, the first time I saw it with you, um, and this this particular version was uh, what 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 dub was it again? It, it was the Hong Kong, Hong Kong Cantonese yeah. dub, yeah. Which, uh, yeah. which is awesome. <laughs> which is awesome, and they did a really good job because sometimes the dubs are not that great, but this one was like yeah. I really liked it. I thought it was actually made yeah from like Hong Kong, but it, it wasn't. And apparently, they missed. Or they took some things out? There or? was some stuff yeah. cut from it. I don't yeah. know if it's because of my VHS, VHS copy of it, yeah. but because um, uh, there was a few things missing, and then when I looked online, there was actually more going on that I, I didn't notice. You you, uh, you said you were in, you were curious to see the original Japanese, because uh, in this yeah. one there were uh, American actors in there too, and you were wondering if they spoke Japanese as well. So the uh, synopsis of this movie is um, is that people from the future time travelers from the future came to the past to get rid of Godzilla in hopes to help Japan but it turns out that they are that it's kind of like the whole alien thing from what was it uh, King Ghidorah Monster X yeah that's where right. it's like um, nope they just wanted to create King Ghidorah to fuck Japan over so now Japan has to do something and bring Godzilla back to fight him there's more to that, but, you know, I'm not going to spoil it because it's a legit cool movie. So what, what did you think of it from what we've seen, watched, like, of it? Yeah, this one definitely seemed more of a... Entertainment? Yeah, for entertainment, it was more of a monster versus monster movie. Um, there were some Terminator elements to it. As, as, there was a lot of elements, <laughs> like a bit of Star Trek, there yeah, Star was a Terminator, Trek. monster... It definitely had a sci-fi feel to it, that, you know, uh, time well, traveling and all that. World War Two action. Yeah. There was a lot of stuff, and I gotta say, up on like rewatching Godzilla vs King Ghidorah, the pacing is really fast. But then again, like I said, th th this is because this is the version I've seen. I don't know what, what I would say if I watched like the full one where there was more uh, more scenes to add to yeah. the movie. But yeah, the the pacing was like really fast in this movie, but not like too fast. It was just like I was just surprised like the scenes moved by so quickly in it um well, one thing that uh Godzilla versus King Dora had in common with the original Gojira was the the fact that uh, I don't know what, the, what what their names were but the the old wise guys I guess you could call them they didn't want to have Godzilla killed they wanted to like you know preserve this uh, species and life and uh well in, in, oh yeah that was another thing yeah. in, like the original uh right because the, they wanted to be studied yeah they wanted to be studied wanted in this to... case uh the wise or not what wise guy I don't know what his name was but he basically has a, a kind of bond with Godzilla because he saved them from uh, during the war, right? Yeah, during yeah. the war. So that's why he has like he f he feels like there's a bond between them, and there's a scene where like it looks like there might be something like where it keeps showing like Godzilla's reaction. Oh, the scene where like the, uh, pr the not the president, but like the CEO. Yeah, guy in that building, right? In that yeah. building, and he didn't leave because he was like he won't he won't destroy us, right? Kind of thing. Yeah. Or and because he had a connection to him, yeah. that it's like uh, you know he's our savior, and yeah. now he's also our destroyer. Yeah. So he had a moment with him, and God, and yeah, they had they had a scene with him where they're looking like into each other's eyes, <laughs> and then Godzilla sneezed and fucking killed him. Yeah. No, he just blasted his fucking yeah. gas for being. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I did. Did you were, were you the one who told me where I was like, what's the point of his story? Because it was because after thinking about, it, I'm like, yeah, he didn't really add anything to the. So the thing as a whole, it was just kind of like he's he's there. Yeah. What did you think about the special effects though in this one? Uh, I mean, 
at times they were, I thought they were pretty convincing. Other times it seemed more like, you know, sci-fi, cheesy, 70s style. You know, like very Star Trek. Yeah, Star Trek. But it was okay. I thought it was okay. Uh, definitely, yeah, definitely a step ab- above the original. Well, obviously, that, that, that's, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. Right? But, uh, yeah, the effects, like the miniatures, uh, like, just like the amount of the budget it had. Because they had the army, yeah. they had the vehicles. And that time traveling machine and so forth. It was uh, pretty special, of, not special effects heavy, but they were they were pretty damn good special effects. Yeah. From the suits to like uh, the atomic breath, the atomic breath looks like the best in this one, in my opinion. It has like a bluish blue ray, and it just right, blasts yeah. out. And then yeah. the original, it was just like a fire gas, which was yeah. like it looks kind of underwhelming. But hey, what can you do? Yeah. Uh, but yeah. The, I wouldn't say the special effects were okay. They were they were pretty good and was very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not futuristic, but you know when they do the time travel thing, yeah. it was very like cosmic. I don't I don't know how to des- describe <laughs> it, but it was like a really really cool. What? But how did you think of like the the whole plot, like uh, with the whole time travel? Is it weird or just kind of like oh? It was weird because they did change some things. Uh, I think with Godzilla, he was. Was it like a dinosaur. He was a dinosaur. Yeah. They, they went to his uh, like a different yeah. origin. Yeah, different of him, origin. Yeah. Where he was a uh, he was a dinosaur back in on this island. I, I forget. I forget what the island yeah, was true, called. Yeah. But like uh, he died there, and then that's where like nuclear testing yeah. came to be. And then actually, kind of ironic, it's the it's another birth of Godzilla. <laughs> and then he got and then like the radiation caused him to turn into Godzilla, and that's what happened. in... and that's. And what then, led it all the way here? And then with King Ghidorah, on the other hand, it's like these little weird... Adorats. Creatures that are get... Three Gremlins. of them get turned into the... Yeah, the heads, I they guess. Mute, like, they yeah. mutated and turned into King Ghidorah. <laughs> yeah. There was a couple of things where it was like... It was kind of questionable. Like, you know... Because when they went back in time yeah. to like get rid of Godzilla, they go back to the future. Apparently, people were still aware of Godzilla. Like, if he never existed in the past... How did they know he... How did they know about him? Because he technically yeah. never existed. Because that one guy was writing the book, right? And, uh... Oh, that was before. Oh, okay. But then it's like, uh, but I, I think he's kind of okay because he kind of like went through the experience. Mm. So I, I would say he retained his memory okay. of it. Um, and then the thing with Adora is like, how did they know they were gonna like mutate into like King Adora? I thought it was kind of like that's kind of a bit of a stretch, <laughs> yeah. too. And someone, someone brought up like a plot hole about uh how. How did Mecha God or not Mecha Godzilla? Mecha King Ghidorah like came to be if there was already a King Ghidorah in the in like that time zone because uh, there was a thing with the time traveling where it's like two beings of the same thing can't exist otherwise one would disappear. Mm. My defense to that is that was not uh, that was not purely uh, King Ghidorah, but that was um, M11 the android as King Ghidorah, the the Terminator yeah. of the thing. That that seems so con- funny. He's controlling it now. Yeah, he was integrated into the thing, so it's yeah. like it's not King Ghidorah anymore, mm. but at the same time, it kind of is. So that's my argument against that plot hole. Yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, there was a there was a thing with the cows you were talking about how they were milking, how they got <laughs> milked in the franchise, and like it was showing cows in this one too. It was. Uh... I thought that was kind of funny, and yeah. the music. I like the music in this uh, better than the original, but that's only because I think. Um, the same composer of the original Worked on it. came back and no. did the music for this one. So this was like a really good introduction to like uh, Godzilla in terms of the ent- action entertainment part of it. Okay. But uh, yeah, would you recommend the film? Because I definitely would recommend the uh, hell yeah. out of it. I'm, I'm interested in seeing the the original. Like as as you pointed out, I would like to see, watch the Japanese version. See if we missed anything. Uh, yeah, it'd be cool. Oh yeah, because uh, my VHS tape is like uh, has like. It has like a lighting yeah. problem where like things are darker than usual. So I would like to see like uh, like get the DVD and we'd like yeah. watch it again in a clearer, cleaner way. Yeah, for sure. And so and so forth, and seeing all the extra scenes and plus like subtitles because um there were technically were subtitles but they were shit subtitles as yeah. as I am disappointed in you Hong Kong. You were with the British. Your English <laughs> should be better. Yeah. Fuck you. All right. Uh, yeah. I don't know what else we can add. I mean. Oh, unlike uh, the original uh, Gojira, which was about, which had a message. This one was just like an action flick. It's like, hey, did we did yeah. we enjoy it and whatnot? And it ended off with like setting up the next movie. The next movie. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. 
Yep. Spoilers, Godzilla did not die. But I don't think that should come off as a surprise because yeah. Godzilla is like, is like Superman. He he can barely be killed. Yeah. But yeah, definitely recommend um, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah from the Heisei era. Because it's like, it was my favorite and that's why I love Godzilla. Yeah. Okay, so Shin Godzilla. I'm going to try not to spoil too much of it. And I think I can pretty much do that by saying it's like Gojira... But it's like a modern take, mm. modern take of it. Like, um, like, what if Godzilla did not attack Japan or was like not born in 1950 or like you know back in that World War II area, but was born in like um in the 2000, 2010 and whatnot, and basically they had all it was it was like the original where it was about the people and uh, not the president but like the emperor of Japan trying to make decisions on. How to take care of Godzilla with the whole thing? Like, uh, oh, do we, do we deal with it ourselves? Like, uh, okay, we'll send the army and try to take it down. Also, I had pretty good action, by the way. That was entertaining. That that and obviously it failed. So it's like, oh, do we get help from like cut around the the countries around the world, like America, France, China, Russia, and all that stuff? Okay. And did they go into the details as to how Godzilla came back? Or, uh, or like how actually, they did a scientific it. like uh, analysis on it, like because okay. um, Godzilla appears in the first like four minutes, and hmm. he he looks really laughable. If you saw it, I think you'd be <laughs> like, "Oh, what the hell?" Because I was like, because I was like, it looked really weird. But basically, uh, Godzilla evolves as the film goes on. First, he starts so uh, I, I really don't want to spoil it, but like he his first appearance looks really weird, okay. and then eventually he grows into this scary motherfucker i don't know if you've seen the poster but he kind of looks like this like like he's gonna fucking like yeah come to your house personally and eat your face off and the and the thing um what was it it was directed by the people who made um or who are the creators wait it was the people i forget if it was creators or like the directors of the people who made the anime uh evangelion and i was like oh i expect to be mind fucked by this because if you haven't heard of that anime it, it kind of fucks and that 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 anime like really fucks with you. So I expect it to be fucked with, but I was kind of disappointed by it. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's because like, oh, it's Godzilla, he tramples and kills people. That's what he does. Mm. Or it's like a you know the the directors of this film like didn't do that good of a job to sh to show the fuckery around it. So that was kind of a little. So that was a little like um, I was kind of disappointed by it. By that, but like I said, I wasn't sure because like it's like that's what Godzilla does. It's like, it's like it, when you shoot someone in the head with a bullet. Like, what, what were you expecting? They just die. Yeah, so they couldn't really bring anything new. Per yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and that's another thing. There's nothing really new with Shin Godzilla. Uh, Even though that's what the title means, right? If you, if you I, I, exactly, <laughs> but I think, but I think when they say new, it's like a new, new take yeah, on new it. Take on it no. So my story for uh, Shin Godzilla is you're not missing much. If you can check it out, check it out. Um, I guess I can say this. Yeah. If uh, if you're not up for watching the original uh, Gojira in black and white, because like I said, it's kind of it's a documentary and not entertaining at points. But that's not the point of it. Mm. Shin Godzilla is a lot more entertaining to watch. To watch of um, Godzilla, but like modernized take on it. The uh, the action when the army tries to take down Godzilla was pretty cool. And oh yeah, um, it's Godzilla is not in a suit. It's all CG, which was kind of disappointing. But on the scale that they tried to do this film on, kind of hard to like uh, you know argue against that, especially with all the destruction going on. Hmm. Although it does get silly with the CG at like near the end, where when they're trying to take down Godzilla, which I will not spoil because <laughs> yeah. it's just like just odd. Okay. But yeah, do 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 I recommend it? Uh, you're not missing much, but if you can check it out, I would uh, say check it out. I wouldn't mind watching it again, but just like the original, it's uh more about the people. But Godzilla does show up like quicker, like way quicker yeah. to like keep scenes interesting. But yeah, it's an enter it's uh, Shin Godzilla is an entertaining, uh, entertaining enough film to watch that I would say check it out. But mm -hmm. you're not missing much if you don't get to see it. <laughs> That's a lot of Godzilla. Yes, oh my god. Zilla. <laughs> now, 